Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Reviewing Trendy New York City Restaurants. So first up, we have Bagjong, which is a Korean barbecue restaurant in Midtown. This restaurant is kind of well known because a lot of celebrities frequent it and it's also a really popular lunch destination. We started out with some bomb ass soju to kind of open up appetite for the meal that was about to come. We had the beef and pork combo and let me tell y'all, that meal, oh my god, I'm still thinking about it. The meat was so well cooked and I really liked how they waited until each course was done to serve you your next plate. Overall, I'd give this place a 5 stars. The food was great, the service was amazing, and the prices were affordable. Up next, we have Missy, which is a newly opened Italian restaurant in Williamsburg. I have to say the decor is really chic and elevated. I really like the fact that they made us sit at the counter and you could see the cooks actually cooking your food. We started with some drinks, of course. Charles had the Bellini Fizz and I had the Tequila Moscow Mule. My drink wasn't it, it was too watery, so I ended up switching to some wine. You can never go wrong with that. But funny enough, I actually didn't even like the aftertaste of this wine. <laughs> then for appetizers, I took the eggplant, which I also did not enjoy. It was very oily, spicy. I just didn't like it. The burrata and charred peppers were fine. Not great. The pastas were also fine. The chitara was really salty though, but the bucatini was... Pretty good, I would say. Overall, I was pretty disappointed with this place. I had heard so many great things, yet the food wasn't good and it was really pricey. I personally wouldn't come back. Up next, we have Chavelas, which is a Mexican restaurant in the heart of Crown Heights. The vibe and ambiance are always at Chavelas. Like if you go for Cinco de Mayo, it's where it's at. The chips and guac were actually really good. The plata de don was okay. I would have added a little bit more spice. My sister did not like this enchilada. The drinks were really good though. Overall, I'd rate this place a 3 out of 5. It's kind of like this neighborhood place you just stop by for happy hour, but not expecting to have a really amazing dinner. Thank you guys for coming along as we explore these New York City restaurants. You know, we keep it real, we keep it fresh. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for a new video every Sunday at 6 p.m. And we'll see you next time.